How's it going, Scorpio? Happy Friday. I hope everybody's having a great day and now leading into the weekend. I hope it's an amazing weekend for you. Let's get right into your timeless love reading. So whenever you feel drawn to the title and the messages within, with your current situation and what's coming towards you in the future, take what resonates. You, never, you know to never force anything to fit. And then always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. As most of you know, I'm giving away three free love readings, three free personal love readings. So if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. I'm so grateful you're here. My name is Sam, and I wholeheartedly welcome you. By subscribing, you can take part in these monthly giveaways. New and returning subscribers, leave a flower emoji in the comment section. At the end of each and every month, as most of you know, I will be reminding each, you know, those that participated to be checking their notifications, randomly choosing three people to win the personal readings, and then announcing May's giveaway. All right. Evil eye. So know that up until this point, what has happened in your life, even if it felt like a disappointment or a rejection, was spirit's way of protecting you. Protection, warding off negative energy, protection from evil, or evil spirits. It's possible you were dealing with someone who was just in a negative energy in their life at the moment that you met with them, and you were be being redirected away from that energy so it didn't deplete your energy. Awareness, that light bulb going off, that aha moment. It's possible someone is having that moment about you. It's possible that light bulb is going off in your mind Again, about why certain things happen, didn't happen, why certain things ended in your life. You know, that shows a lot of growth within yourself, focusing on yourself, your actions, you know, and, and taking that path that you're being redirected to take. And look at what lies on your path, a soul connection. Something from a past lifetime, someone from a past lifetime. And we do have air energy, so you may have strong air in your chart. It's possible you're going to be meeting an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is also the energy of freeing yourself up. Getting out of your mind space, not staying in your thoughts for too long and making a decision. Something is coming towards you that's very adventurous. Um, it, spark, it, it creates that spark within you. Um, it's a reason to celebrate. All right, let's see what else we can get from a Scorpio spirit in terms of love. Chocolate. All the good things. You know, it, this also reminds me like the hummingbird. Always humming by its sweetest nectar and I feel that's the energy that you're going to be and it's going to be so uplifting meeting this person a reason to celebrate right there it's a celebration yes happiness complete abundance taking that leap of faith freeing yourself up from anything that's still weighing on you from the past freeing yourself up because what you're moving towards is happiness it's a brand new start. It's successful. Like I said, it has you feeling on top of the world. And now look what comes out. Repair man. Card of six. And worry beads. I do feel for some of you, it's someone who's returning, wanting to return, like wanting to work on your connection. If you're dealing with a soulmate and you, you, you know that it's a soul bond that you share with this person and you're in separation, um, they may have been dealing with negative things going on in their life. Remember I said, I do feel with awareness here. It's an aha moment within someone else about how they feel for you. This person has sleepless nights about you. They worry about this connection and will the two of you be able to repair it? There is some, for some of you, someone returning and they want to make things right. All right, let's get into the reading and see what else we can pull.
for some of you, you're definitely dealing with an air sign because I do have strong air popping up as I'm shuffling too. All right, spirit. For my Scorpios, present, near, future, distant future. Okay. Prince of Winter. Ego. The Sun. So I do feel that there is someone who is watching from afar. They are going to take that leap of faith towards you. And I do feel that they're they're now focusing on certain fears and um, stress levels that they have within themselves. You may have met this person through like social media, through like, you know, online dating or a dating app. I am, like I said, picking up on strong air. But I also have Leo energy here too. Taurus energy. The Empress is at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, it possibly could be a twin flame connection. But I am picking up on a very deep soul bond. And like I said, it's going to be very soon from the time that you hear this reading that this person does take action towards you. So with the Prince of Winter showing up, you know, paying attention to your direct messages, I do feel like it is coming in quick. Your emails. Let's see. What I love about this is in the near, in the distant future, the sun. Happiest card of any deck. All right, please clarify the Prince of Winter Spirit as the present energy for Scorpio. The Four of Winter. Yeah, you are at a break from this person. We have a few cards that popped out. The lovers, that soul bond. The hermit, yes. I was just going to say with the lovers there, this person is really weighing in on their emotions and feelings, doing a lot of soul searching. And the ace of summer is here. There is that aha moment. You and this person will come into unity. Why is ego here? For near future. The moon. There are certain things that they're closing chapters on. And this could possibly could also be your energy. Scorpio, cross watchers take it how it resonates. But with the moon here, there's certain chapters being closed to provide movement towards you. This person's going to come in with a lot to reveal. You know, depending on how their energy was when the, at time of separation... They might have been going through a lot of outer turmoil and inner turmoil. With the moon here, they're going to shed light on a lot of things within their life. A lot of hard things that have happened in their life that they've had to walk away from and shut the door on. This is them going through a lot of resolution through difficulties in their own life. All right, spirit. But through that, I really feel like they're working on their strength to come forward. Why the sun for Scorpio in the distant future? Queen of Summer completely opening their heart up to you and the opportunity is coming. With the Eight of Autumn, it's like they want to work on this. They want to focus on repairing this connection. Look at this. Judgment is at the bottom with the Six of Winter. Could be at a distance from you. There may be some traveling, different state, different country. I also feel it's divinely guided. Like I said, this person is going through a lot of self-evaluation. But I also feel, Scorpio, that this is some of your energy too. I feel like there's been a lot of growth within you. Reviewing things of the past and how to move forward from it. So in separation, a lot of work is being done separately, independently. Preparing both of you for unity. All right, spirit. From present into future, how is it going to go between Scorpio and this person? The moon. The hermit. Definitely a lot of repeating major arcana, so we're going to clarify that.
King of Cups and the King of Wands. For some of you, the Six of Cups. Yes, yeah, see, you know this person. For some of you um, that resonate with the same sex, I, I've got two kings here. I have your energy and I have fire energy. However, I'm just pointing that out. It's like you've got your heart completely open for this person. And what I love is they're coming in as a king. So we have feminine, masculine traits in all of us. So whether it be queen, king that you're resonating with, it does not matter. It's the energy of the upscale coming in, you know, as a king or as a queen, knowing what they want, taking action, being very certain on what they're offering. Please clarify the moon spirit for Scorpio. Wheel of Fortune, twist of fate here. This is a fate of partner and the magician. You have manifested this. Another thing I want to point out, there are so many major arcana within your reading. This is divinely guided, like I, like I mentioned in the middle of the reading. It is divinely orchestrated. This is completely out of your hands. It was meant for the two of you to meet and go your separate ways. Remember, this connection was being divinely protected even in separation. There just had to be growth on both of your parts separately. Why is the hermit here twice? I really feel someone needed to work on their emotions. And there is that aha moment of their feelings for you. Where this seems like at a crossroads, big decision being made to come forward, Scorpio. All right, let's see what they have to say. Final messages for Scorpio. I have to say, with desensitized, you might have even been dealing with someone who had some form of an addiction. They just were emotionally detached because of, like I said, inner, outer turmoil. Going on other people's opinions, other people's advice. I was foolish to believe the opinions of others. I should have trusted my heart more than what others thought more than what more than what others thoughts about our connection were i am tired of people pleasing and attached this could be attached to something of the past and that's why you were being redirected away from them Attached to toxic connections of the past, possibly a toxic marriage. This person could have very well been divorced, but had dealt with such a toxic situation that they still were not ready to com be completely open to you. But like I said, within separation, I feel like it has given this person a lot of time to think. Realizing that there is a deeper connection with you and dealing with what made them feel scared or fearful or overwhelmed. This person is going to take action. All right. And I just love that there are so many major arcana. It just shows that it's faded and that it's being divinely guided. G, Y, E, P, U, H, A, T, R, and it almost like reminds me of yay. Remember I said it's going to be a celebration when the two of you come back together? It just reminds me of saying like, yay, it's finally here. All right, do take what resonates. Leave that flower emoji down below and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. The link to my Etsy shops in the description box. Lotus 444 is my shop name. I, alter, I offer multiple readings over there and it is open sooner than I had anticipated. So you can head over there and check that out. That way I can tune into just your energy. Love and light, Scorpio.